I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> All right guys, welcome back to the Drum Camps channel. Today we're gonna go skating and then we're gonna do a review. I am kind of keeping on with the theme of like doing things that make us happy, kind of this uh, little escape. And I always found that skating for me growing up was my biggest escape, man. I, it was like before I had my driver's license, I had a skateboard and if I had any problems at home or whatever, I could just pick up my skateboard and I could skate across town and kind of go into my own world, go hang out with my friends, practice our skate tricks, and I never really got super good at skating, but I loved ramp and street um, and, and, and vert, but my, my I guess my, my funnest skating times were probably on the smaller ramps because they were like not quite as much vert to drop in on and uh, a little less consequences, but Skating is, is kind of, in a way I relate it to my flying a lot because it is another type of escape and, and it's a healthy activity and uh, I'd like to pass that on to my, my future generations, my kids, and teach them that sort of skating ethics. I mean, some of the, the, the best dads that I know in our neighborhood are actually old uh, skater dads and these skater dads kind of grew up with the same ethic I did. They they know how to fall down and, and get back up and try it again and I guess that's um, that's a, that says a lot in life and we don't really give up. Skater dads don't usually give up too easy. Uh, we, we stick with it for the long run and um, I'm, I'm older now but I'm still able to go out and do a little bit of skating which is cool and uh, just practice some mellow tricks and, and just kind of enjoy the moment but it's still for me I always said when I was younger that kind of art and skating saved my life and still for me it's kind of that um, great little escape and it kind of brings me back to that same feeling that I have when I'm flying so uh, it's super hot but um, I'm gonna go ahead and head in and get this review done. I'm all done. It's super hot. See you man. All right guys, welcome back to the studio. Thanks for going skating with me. That was a lot of fun. Um, some of you guys might not know that I, I love to skate, but I do. You're looking at the futon too, and we're giving that away on my Patreon channel. So click on the link down below if you'd like a chance to win this one by the end of the month. It's only a few days away, which is kind of awesome. Uh, and also for August, even better, we're gonna do another giveaway on my Patreon channel, even better than this futon too that you're looking at. But someone, that is a Patreon supporter and supporter of my art and my videos is going to bind this up to their radio and fly it. It already has an FR Sky receiver on there and it's about, I think it's around $190 retail value. So I'm going to ship that to your door, but uh, I want to say thanks again for all my Patreon supporters. All right, there it is guys. And the F405 AIO is sitting next to the Predator Mini camera and the Micro Predator here. Why would I have them sitting next to it? Because, well, because Fox here sent me these to test, but also specifically because this F405 has camera control on here and um, really nice, kind of like smart audio where you can go in and change VTX inside Betaflight. You can activate the camera control, the CC port on this board, and that will allow you to do a throttle and right stick gesture to be able to go in and make changes on either of these cameras. Now, the previous version of this one didn't work so well. It had some issues that you had to do some mods and get that working. With this one, they've fixed all of that, and all you have to do now is make it active inside Betaflight, which is super cool. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of the box now and show you the layout of the board. And there's the board all unboxed, and isn't it lovely? This is a really nice layout on this board. I, I love the engineering that went into this one. It's really, really cleanly spaced and clearly labeled. When I zoom in just a little bit closer, you're gonna see how nice the printing is on this board. Now it is 45 by 45 millimeters from top to bottom here. Uh, these arms do stick out a little bit on each side, but that's to accommodate the wires going off to your ESCs and then to your motors. Now this does say AIO, but it does not include ESCs. It will run and handle ESCs up to about 50 amps. So if you wanna run this one from a 3S battery to a 6S battery, you can do that as well. 
well. And it does come with these little rubber grommets, which are nice because it converts it from an M4 to an M3 mounting point there. And the mounting measurement from side to side right here from hole to hole is pretty standard 30.5 by 30.5. So this one's gonna accommodate like your three inch race frames up to your five, six and seven inch frames. So uh, you could use this one for a long range flight controller or you could use it for a race quad flight controller. And it does have an 8K gyro on board and that's the MPU 6000. We have Betaflight OSD. You have a current sensor on board. You've got a boot button over on this side, that little button right there. If you push it in, it's gonna let you flash the latest firmware. And the target for that firmware is actually Betaflight Foxier F405. So it actually has its own firmware. So you're gonna load that up in Betaflight and then you're gonna flash to this board. You've got your USB port right here for connecting to Betaflight. And let's just take a little closer look at the end of this board right here. You can see negative, positive there. And it does have some telemetry wire for your ESC. So if you need to get uh, telemetry from your ESCs, you can do that as well on the R2 channel there. So uh, S2 and R2, that would be your motor number two. Right here we have S1, so that would be signal one there for your motor one. And you have your battery terminals back here, which usually dictates the back of a flight controller. And up front, they usually have the camera and the VTX along the front rail. We'll take a little closer look at that as well. And over here, you have plenty of options for adding in any type of other options like GPS or any type of other sensors that you like to add on board. So if you wanna play around with Betaflight GPS, you can actually do that as well. Now you're looking at this side rail over here on the right-hand side of the flight controller. There's tons of options over here for a lot of different stuff. This is where you're gonna put your receiver over on this rail over here. These three right here are for your receiver wires. You have TX4 there, and that's gonna be for your RSSI and your smart audio. The next one over, you're gonna have RX1. That's gonna be for S bus and PPM. And then over to the far, left you have where your gps can hook up to so you have all kinds of hookups right there you've got the tx rx the sda scl 5 volt and the ground there so uh, a lot of different setups there for any types of gps or compass applications and the t3 and r3 up at the very top here those are also for your gps wires you're going to make sure that those are exactly the same coming off of your gps and then you have an extra 5 volt and ground over here on the left hand side and this is where it gets really interesting with this flight controller because they've added a few things in here. I'm just going to back out a little bit here and show you on the bottom. We have two different BECs on the bottom. We have a 5-volt BEC and we have a 9-volt BEC there. And you can change those. Those are changeable on this front rail right here. I'm just going to zoom right back into that rail. If you have any type of VTX that is, say, you have a 5-volt VTX, which I have had them before in the past, and um, you need to run something on five volt, they give you the option to change that on this rail right here. So there's these little tiny tabs right here. There's actually three of them. Two of these are bridged on the far right over here, and that's gonna make this nine volt for your VTX wires to solder up to right here. Your VTX signal wire, positive and ground there, and then you've got your TX5 and RX5 there. But if you wanna step this down to five volt and not fry a five volt VTX, you're going to unbridge this and make sure that you look at this with a magnifying glass or something while you're doing it. Make sure there's absolutely no solder touching this middle tab right here to the nine volt side. Once you have that unbridged, bridge the other side and make that five volt uh, for any five volt VTX applications. And over on the left-hand side is where your cam goes. You signal wire there, positive and ground. And the same thing over here, they have this nice little solder blob right here and that's making it nine volts so it comes default to nine volt and nine volt but if you have any smaller cameras little aio camera that i can only handle five volt you can unbridge that and make it five volts so that's kind of a nice option that they did that now also even nicer now we have that tab for cc you see that little cc tab right there that is for your camera control so uh, using that new fox here predator mini you can go into your sticks commands and go in and change up your camera's OSD. You can change up the camera brightness and contrast settings and all that good stuff. So it looks like Fox here has kind of uh, brought this board to its maturity right now. It seems to be a much better version than what I've seen in the past. So I think this is probably going to be a safe bet for uh, putting on my next five inch race quad. And it looks really, really well made. I'm really happy with everything on this board the layout looks great and it looks like it's going to be easy to solder up 
So pretty progressive little flight controller from Fox here. I think it's going to be worth checking out, um, especially for the price. You can check this one out in the link below. And uh, I'm not an affiliate with Fox here, but just doing the review and overview of this one so that you guys can get the info. And thanks again for subscribing on the channel, guys. I'm Justin Davis, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.